Purchase all your exclusive Fortnite skins at digizane.com. Use monkey at checkout, 5% off. Yo guys, Monk here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, in today's video guys, I'm going to be obviously showcasing a new template that I've done. If you know anything about stingers, basically if you are a streamer, you will know what I am on about. It's the transition from one scene to another. Obviously, you see all the big streamers have their own custom stinger. And basically, in this video guys, I have created a simple template for you guys to go ahead and download. It's for After Effects, so if you don't have After Effects, then obviously go ahead and try and get After Effects in some way. You can go ahead and sign up to a 7 day free trial to obviously edit the pack that you're going to download in today's video. But in my streams, I always have a transition, so mine is basically a rift transition when I'm streaming because I usually stream Fortnite but for this video purposes I'm going to show you what this one will look like when you obviously download it in today's video so on screen now you can see my little starting soon screen from when I actually go ahead and stream on YouTube and I'm just going to go ahead and change it over to my BRB screen so when I'm about to take a break or go ahead and get a drink or a snack I will change it to this screen and basically when I change it the transition from the actual change will look something like this. So this is what a stinger is. It's um, like I said, the transition from one scene to another when you're actually streaming on um, whatever streaming platform you want. So it's really easy, it's really simple uh, to actually edit as well guys. Once you've downloaded the actual file itself, what you will be greeted with is basically something that looks like this and what you need to do is obviously change where it says the mascot Wukong uh, because basically this won't be in the file uh, it'll come up with like a load of colors saying that you have to replace it saying that it can't find this file so to do this all you want to do is just simply right click it and replace footage and then click on file and obviously replace it with your own logo once you replaced it, what you want to do then is find where your logo is. So it should be the second one in the timeline. And you want to go and click U on your keyboard. So it obviously shows up these actual timestamps that's actually on the timeline. So the first one, you want to go ahead and basically change the scale to the size that you want. So mine's on 40%. You can keep it as it is, but if you have like such a big logo, you want to like lower the size down so to basically check the size just go to the right a little bit you can see what the size looks like mine's perfect so I'm keeping mine at 40 and then once you've done that you want to go all the way to the end and change it as well because obviously this goes up by 15% so let's say that you change your first one from mine which is 40% you change yours to like 50% you want to go ahead and change this last one to 65% it goes up by 15% and then that is you done for the logo obviously to make changes to the colors just go about one second in and then you want to go click on the first shape layer and go click on the fill tab and change it to whatever color you want obviously i'm going to keep mine as they are because they match the colors that's on my actual logo and then once you've done that guys where it says here uh, toggle transparent is sigrid make sure that is enabled and you'll know it's enabled because you'll have a background that looks something like this and then all you want to do then guys is just click onto file export add to render queue and you want to go and click onto output module and make sure that your format is basically avi and make sure that your channels is rgb alpha and then click ok and this will render it into like a basically a transparency background and obviously save it to wherever you want so save the output path to wherever you want desktop uh, wherever you want to save it just save it whatever you want and then click on save and then you want to just basically render this out now guys how you actually go ahead and edit this on obs is or whatever streaming software you have is kind of be it's kind of straightforward depending on what uh, recording software you actually use so we're on obs at the minute and all you want to do is click on to add and you want to click on add new stinger now whatever name your stinger is so basically i changed mine to monkey hd stinger but for this video i'm just going to leave it as stinger i'm going to go click ok and then where it says video file you want to browse it and just go and 
find the stinger that you saved, so mine is this monkey HD stinger, click on open, change the trans, uh, transition point type to frame, and then you want to go and change the transition point uh, frame from 0 to 100, and then you want to go click OK. Now you want to find it in your actual quick transitions, so basically click the drop down one and it's going to be the stinger one and how you have it so your screens look like this in OBS is make sure you are on studio mode and then these two would actually show up. So then if I click on to stinger it will basically go ahead and uh, transition over as you can see on screen now. So that is it guys, the link for it is in the description down below, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe if you are new, make sure you like the video as well, and I'll see you in the next video guys, peace out.